and I'd like to call upon your new chief executive, Henry Paxman, who will explain. But uh, David and I have uh, taken great delight in um, plotting on your behalf a celebration of the last 14 years of Graham being in charge of NABMA. We couldn't possibly let him escape. And um, it will be a very emotional um, few moments, I think. I'd like to invite um, the presidency to join me on stage, please. What we're going to do, um, we're just going to say a few more words. And then David is going to kindly give us some highlights of, of the last 14 years. <laughs> Graham was really looking forward to it. Okay. One of the pleasures that I've had over the last few weeks um, is uh, trying to organise a book of mementos um, for uh, Graham to, uh, to take home with him and to read in his spare time. Not that I hope to... Um, give him too much spare time. Apologies, Jackie. When you're on the golf course, I'll keep Graham occupied for you. And... <laughs>
But the question that Graham faced when he became chief executive and when the business plan for NABMA and its future was promoted back in 2004 was really, could NABMA continue at that time? The year before, the conference was down to about 60 delegates. And if we look at the last three days, then with the work that Graham and the presidency and so many other people have been involved in, nearly 200 people have been involved in this incredible event in Stratford-upon-Avon. <laughs> Graham, of course, always leads by example, whether you want to go with him or whether you don't. <laughs> and this was in Amsterdam, and this was an occasion where we actually encouraged him to get on a bicycle, but we found out then that he couldn't ride it. <laughs> so it was no good that Nadler looked to buy him a bicycle for his retirement. But if we look at how Nadler has changed under Graham's stewardship, then we look at the sponsors, we look at the membership, the funding, all the various partners that Graham's brought on board, the professional development of the sector and the work that we put into the investment of market offices which has been celebrated today. Years ago we didn't even know where Westminster Tube Station was. Now we're regular visitors to Westminster and above all I think what Graham's trying to promote and has really succeeded and that is providing value for money for the membership subscriptions that people pay to join NAPMA. And if we look back at Graham's life, it's really been enshrined in markets right from his earliest days. I quizzed him the other day over lunch, and I just wanted to refresh, I was right, but I knew that Graham's family actually had two sweet stalls in Castleford Market, and that was where Graham's interest and passion in markets really began. And anybody of my era that went to the old Institute of Market Officers courses um, back in Sheffield, We'll know that in those days we used to have evening lectures, and the one evening lecture from 7 until 9 o'clock was on the immortal subject of market law, led by Mr. Graham Wilson. And it was always fascinating to listen to that lecture, but Graham was always the barrier between getting for last orders in the wheat sheaf on the Eccleshaw Road. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was very rare that we made it. But those lectures, I think, set up a number of people in this room for their career, career and professional development in markets. And Graham came to NABMA um, over many years ago now as a lead officer, and you can see the duration of that period. And Graham recognised with many other people that NABMA needed to relook at where it was going to develop a business plan for the future. And of course, who was going to be at the helm of it? Nobody but Graham Wilson. And Graham became chief executive in 2004, and I think if we look back ever since then, I think he is regarded as the voice of markets in the UK. And these are some of the things that you've said about Graham, not only in the book, but also over the last few years, about his qualities of leadership, vision, dedication, drive, passion, and, and enthusiasm. And also about the, the debt of gratitude that many of us in this room and our authorities have for the wonderful and professional advice that he's given and for his support in the preservation of markets both in the UK and way beyond. And without doubt everybody agrees that Graham has transformed NABMA. It does make a difference now and I think everybody regards it as the voice of the industry. <laughs> Graham doesn't drink beer. <laughs> but this was all about team building and um, he dragged us into a pub in Dublin a few years ago. We didn't want to go but we thought we couldn't let him go in on his own. <laughs> And of course the, the musician shouted out, is there anything anybody would like me to play? And Graham, in that very soft Yorkshire voice of his, shouted out the Wild Rover. And I think in three pubs down the road, they all started playing the Wild Rover. <laughs> Thankfully Graham didn't join in and sing. But in terms of team building, we would like to say thank you from Oswestry and for the team that helped and support Graham in the organisation of this conference. Chris and Anne, Graham and myself, and everybody else, Beth as well, we all enjoy immensely working with Graham, putting this conference on, and seeing the enjoyment that we have. But we couldn't do it without that leadership from Graham. And back in 2012, Graham was rightly awarded the OBE. And that really was the citation that he should be recognised for that significant contribution as a real champion for markets, and the benefits that his, his efforts have achieved in terms of the local economies, the character of our towns and cities, the wider economies, and also the social benefits. And of course, where does that all stem from? It stemmed from his vision, his commitment, and the achievements that he's brought to this industry. Behind the scenes, a lot of you only see Graham perhaps a couple of times a year at conferences.
but nobody really understands the miles that Graham has travelled in delivering the job of Chief Executive. He encouraged Jackie to play golf four times a week so that he can go out on the road and meet people. And the relationship that he's built up with Oswestry and with my council has been very special. And John Gareth Jones is in the audience, he's come along tonight. And it was Graham, really, John Gareth and myself who set up this partnership and this relationship between NABMA and Oswestry well over a decade ago. And it's something that Oswestry has greatly valued. We all know about the many friends that Graham's made. He's <coughs> taken NABMA into the wider world of markets. And of course, we're in the Westminster village, and that's where Graham established us. But what you don't realise <coughs> is it's not just the strategic stuff. Graham's very much about the nuts and bolts as well. He will chase the debts. Anybody in debt, he'll probably still be going around tonight if anybody hasn't paid the subscription. <laughs> but believe me, no job is too small for Graham. And working with Graham, we all know that he does a little bit of preaching in the Methodist Church, and this is a picture where he started to try and preach one day at Borough Market. <laughs> he didn't get a very receptive audience, but I think anybody who knows Graham knows how inspirational he can be, what a true professional he is, and what a marvellous mentor he's been. Personally, to me, he's been immense, and I know to a lot of people in this room, he's always the voice of reason, and a man, <laughs> after putting up with me, of, of considerable patience. And there have been so many highlights working with Graham, <coughs> and I'm sure you've all got some um, that you recall. But these are just a few. The way that Love Your Local Market has gone worldwide. Excuse me. And I don't think anybody can ever forget the, the London Conference of 2014 when we brought 300 delegates to London. And one of my memories of that night, if you recall, is when we went out on the boat trip and we had a party of 300 in a crocodile that we led down the embankment to the boat. And I will never ever forget Graham trying to converse with the Chinese delegation in his best Yorkshire accent to try and encourage them to get on the boat, and believe me, it didn't work. <coughs> the Great British Market Awards with Graham's leadership have gone from success to success. And I think one of the achievements that he's most proud of is the academic <coughs> success that he's brought and with the, institute, the, the, the introduction of the diploma and what a difference it's made to the professional career of so many people. And of course, working with government, what he was actually doing was going in and procuring his successor in Hillary. And of course, he's already talked tonight about the wonderful partnership and the work that he's done with people like the National Market Traders Federation in terms of developing research and good practice for the sector. So what's the future for Graham? We've thought a lot about it in the office. We thought he could join a choir. But then if you've ever stood next to Graham when there's any community singing, you know that one's completely out. We thought about buying him some golf clubs, but Jackie's vetoed that straight away. She doesn't want him playing golf. We couldn't really imagine Graham being very quiet on a bowling green, so that's out. And we certainly know that he's not going to retire, but thank goodness he's not going to leave NABMA, he's not going to leave our friendship, and he's going to carry on and deliver market law and policy for the association going forward. But this perhaps is the best partnership, and it's that relationship um, between Graham and Jackie, her patience, her support, her encouragement that's enabled Graham to do this job so successfully for so long. And we'll always be indebted to Jackie for her support to Graham and, of course, to NAPMA.
And that is the legacy, if I go back to the first slide, that he leaves Napa with as Chief Executive. Incredible membership, strong finance, huge respect, a great profile as a national association. But he's built up a true partnership of sponsors, exhibitors, partnerships and friends. And those are two of the key people who have provided the financial support, along with Lachere, to give Napa the financial base upon which they've been able to do great things under leadership. And I know Graham would like to thank Alan Hartwell and of course Sean Paul for the incredible help and support that they've provided to him and Nadma over the years. So, I think where I finish, and thank goodness I didn't need the handkerchief, um, but we come to an era that's ending in the history of Nadma, and as the Nadma family then tonight, I feel it's very right and proper to say thank you to Graham for his leadership, his passion, his dedication and his, his friendship. He is really a true friend to all of us, and markets worldwide will greatly miss the voice of Graham Wilson as the Chief Executive. Nat has been proud to confer on Graham lifetime membership. And all I can say is, Graham, our very best wishes go to you for happiness and to Jackie, good health, and thank you very much for everything that you've done for this organisation. So ladies and gentlemen, would you please show your appreciation for Graham Wilson. conference. I'm not sure what more you can say about the career in Nadmar of Graham Wilson. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. I came to my first conference and um, Jack Christopher will correct me if I'm wrong, in 1996 and I think it was Plymouth or uh, ex uh, one of the South Coast anyway. Uh, and I met, somebody introduced me to Graham and as a policy officer um, and I thought, what a nice guy. And I just had to say, where are you from? He said, I'm Wakefield. I said, where's Sheffield? And I met him there and I was impressed with the, the, the way 
uh, he gave information to people. Um, because being a kid that um, used to dig holes and lay tarmac for a living, I wasn't one that had all the nuances of legal ease or things like that. And I'll give Graham his due. He put me at ease and he spoke at the same level I wanted to be spoken to. So as an officer and what I consider a friend, um, I'm grateful to to be in the company uh, and to have worked alongside Graham and will continue to work alongside him. Can I also say I think he's a great uh, um, advocate for my French onion soup, so he's certainly a friend of mine. Um, but I'd like to say a big thank you to Graham on behalf of the Presidency and I think from the Madma family, Graham Wilson. Thank you.